For the past years, Google Analytics was your trustest analytics mobile that got you from A to Z, no problem. But it's getting outdated now and slow. Now Google shows you their new shiny ride called GA4 and it has all the bells and whistles that you might want. And they're also not asking you but forcing you into switching over right now. So maybe you say, hold on, is this really the best choice for me? Just like with cars, there's a bunch of different analytics tools out there and it's up to you to decide which one is the best for you. So to help you out, here are some analytics rides you might want to consider if you are switching away from Google Analytics 4. Now, if you were a fan of Universal Analytics because it was free, then buckle up for this one. Matomo is an open source analytics solution that lets you install their tool on your own server. Apart from what it costs to run the server and add-ons you might want to add to your installation, it's completely free. And it offers all the metrics a data professional would love and more. That's why it's already being used by data professionals worldwide, but especially in Europe, because what Matomo is also well known for is their data privacy. They even got recommended by the French privacy authorities as you keep control of your data if you install it on your own server. Now, some cool add-ons to Matomo include A-B testing. This is an add-on you can install to use and run an A-B test on your site and then also look at the results within Matomo. Then they have session recordings. And if you want to find out what your users are doing on your website, you can start recording them. Similar to the feature that Hotjar has, it can take a peek at what the user is doing on the website right now, making a recording of that. And if you watch them in succession uh, right behind each other, you can identify bottlenecks on your websites and fix them. And lastly, they have a Google Ads connector, which lets you connect Matomo to Google Ads. So you are able to use your conversion data in Google Ads as well. And this all without Google Analytics being involved. So if you're looking for a free alternative to Google Analytics, take a look at Matomo as there's a good chance it might be the perfect ride for you. Ah, your old car just broke down, it's not repairable anymore, and you just wish they still produced the same one. If you could, you would just buy exactly the same model. Well, UA is going away, but if you are still in love with the good old familiar Universal Analytics and don't really want to switch, take a look at our next pick, Pivik Pro. With Pivik, you will find a tool that seems very familiar to Universal Analytics. It has the same similar tracking, data and reports. So you don't really have to train up your whole team on a completely new tool. They even have their own tag management system. So if you wanted to, you could ditch GTM as well. Now one thing that you can definitely ditch are the privacy concerns that are still in the air around Google Analytics because Pivik Pro is well known for their privacy safe approach. And it's already the choice for serious data organizations across Europe. Some things you might find valuable within Pivik Pro that there is no data sampling. Everything is based on your raw data. Nothing is sampled, which means you always run your reports on 100% of your data set and won't run into any accuracy issues. Now, normally this would slow down your data crunching process, your report loading, but with Pivik Pro, it's actually pretty smooth. Then they have a built-in consent manager that can be used to set up your consent banners on your website and then also manage the consent according to the laws in your country. And since you will most likely go with one of the paid options of Pivik Pro, you can expect world-class support from the team at Pivik. Something that free tools, <coughs> Google Analytics, <laughs> don't provide. That's why if you don't want to rock the boat with a completely different approach to analytics, but a reliable tool, take a look at Pivik Pro. Now, Google Analytics was always good at certain things but only certain things. Because just like an SUV, you could get into it. It was a comfortable ride to get you from A to Z, but not much more. If you wanted to go off road or off the beaten path, specialized tracking cases need specialized analytics solutions. And if you find yourself looking to track an app or web platform and are specifically looking to understand how users are navigating through your product, then you might want to take a look at a product-centric analytics tool such as Amplitude Analytics. This tool was specifically built with product insights in mind and can tell you so much more about how users are specifically behaving on your website or within your app. So funnel and cohort and user journey analysis is all part of product analytics and Amplitude has that built in. So this can give you some really good ideas to improve your product and make it more sticky. And to power all of this, they have an event-based data model, which uh, another tool also has, should be a breeze to implement in any kind of SaaS business, for example. They also have hooks and APIs that connect everything together, which developers actually generally love their implementation of Amplitude. Now, three cool features about 
about Amplitude include the experimentation feature, which lets you run A-B tests on your defined segments and analyze the results right in the tool. Then we have predictions, which will take your segments to the next level by predicting how your users will behave in the future and what results you can expect to see if you change anything around in your app. And then there's Amplitude Audiences, which is a built-in customer data platform, so you can take your first-party data from different destinations and manage them all within Amplitude in the Audiences feature. Sure, GA4 can do some of these things too, but is simply not as specialized in product analytics like Amplitude. So if that's more your jam, then Amplitude might be the best tool for you. Uh, 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 hold on there for a second. Who needs all of these features? Well, you are maybe one of those that already found Universal Analytics quite confusing, and I don't blame you. All of these reports, buttons, complicated menus, isn't there an easier and a simpler way? Who actually needs to learn driving and hop into a new car when all you can do is get out your app and call an Uber? Yes, there's always space to go simpler and find a simpler alternative. One that gets you there without the fuss. With tools like Fathom, you might not get the full-fledged analytics solution, maybe just a fraction of it, but that's okay because it gives you the data that you actually need. Simple dashboards, simple insights, no more being hit by hundreds of reports, not needing to know where to click through in order to get to one number. No, Fathom keeps it simple. And there's definitely value in such tools. As I always say, the best analytics solution is the tool that you actually use. And Fathom makes it easy to use. Now, three things that stand out with Fathom is the dashboarding is super simple. One page, take any data you see in the system and build something simple out of that that you can then also share to clients or to stakeholders. Then they also have a GA importer, so you can take your data from Google Analytics and port it over to Fathom. And that is obviously super cool when it comes to migration, especially away from Universal Analytics, you won't skip a beat. And then they pride themselves on the minimal privacy footprint that the tool leaves behind. It lets you customize all of these different settings that might impede onto the privacy rights of a user. And so you can turn them off and really cookie banners should also not be a problem anymore after that. Simple. So if you're just looking to know how many users are on your website, where they're coming from, and look up these basic metrics once in a while, and don't need all of the knots and buttons and different reports to dig into, give Fathom a spin. Okay, okay, we have forgotten one category. And for this one, it's not about switching to a new car or a new ride. It's more about getting more seats because real corporations have real suits. And here it's more like you're driving around a tour bus rather than a car. Now on the bus, there are many different opinions, many other departments, many different needs that have to be met with a new analytics solution. But even there, we have a solution for your Google Analytics bus that you might been have driving around all this time. And those solutions are best resembled by the Adobe Experience Cloud. Yes, here we are not talking about just switching over one tool, but a host of different tools, a whole ecosystem that lets you cover all your business analytics needs. From CRO to customer data platform to an analytics suite like the included Adobe Analytics. With Adobe, you will find a robust, scalable system that meets your enterprise needs. You can probably find a comparable companion to the Google Marketing Cloud offerings in their Experience Cloud, as they call it. That should appease not only your analytics needs, but also the suits in your department. Now, three features that Adobe Analytics users love about this tool are workspaces. They're like a simple reporting solution within Adobe Analytics that lets you put together data in a quick way and then share it to colleagues and stakeholders. And then they have a unified reporting that lets you combine different data sources such as mobile and website traffic together into one unified data stream and analyze them together. And calculated metrics, which gives you the ability to create new metrics from existing data points by combining them together through math, for example. A feature that is still missed in GA4. We had it in Universal Analytics, but not anymore. But nonetheless, if you are using Google Analytics the 6th maybe already with your organization, with your enterprise, and you're looking to switch, take a look at Adobe's offerings. And of course, there are many alternatives that we weren't able to mention in this video. Drop us a comment down below and let us know what is your favorite analytics tool or what are you using right now. And I'll see you again in our next video.